Marta Contreras felt she had to be here as they pulled apart the place she's called home for more than 50 years. So badly damaged in Tuesday's earthquake, the building was in such a dangerous condition she couldn't recover anything of her previous life. Now all she owns is what she wears. I've lived here more than 50 years. It's terrible. I can find no comfort. I keep crying. I have not eaten. It just feels like a nightmare. I, I just can't. The town centre of Hohutla didn't fare well in the tremor. In just moments, buildings which had stood for decades were gone, others badly damaged. Some people managed to grab what they could. Others could only watch as diggers pulled apart the remains of ordinary lives changed forever. This street, which has just reopened, gives you an idea of the random nature of the damage caused by earthquakes. This house here, very little damage, a few bricks missing above the garage door. But just next door, you can see gaping holes in the walls all the way up to the roof. A lot of the frontage has fallen into the street. The damage here is so bad that this house will probably have to be pulled down. On the edge of the town, they've set up a camp for those who have nowhere to go. They try to make it comfortable, but you wouldn't call it home. Everyone works together to fill the trucks that regularly pull in. This takes aid to those in towns further away and those who simply won't leave home. So Helis Sotelo didn't know what to do when the quake hit. She's due to give birth any day. For the moment, that has to be the priority. They helped me with some formula, some diapers and clothes for my baby. We left our house with nothing. We barely managed to grab important documents. I'm afraid to return home. It's badly damaged. The town of Ahutla will rebuild. In some ways, that's an easy fix. In years to come, the only scars will be those in the hearts and minds of people who've lost everything. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Ahutla, Mexico.